I travel the world for a lot of reasons. To try new things. Those are the beans for chocolate. To learn about a culture's food from the cooks who know it best. To eat myself silly. And if I'm really lucky, to hunt down my all-time favorite spice. I'm mesmerized. Will you look at that? I'm in the Caribbean on the island of Grenada. It's a beautiful, hot, sunny day, and there are miles of beaches around here. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here because this is where my favorite spice is produced, nutmeg. I use it in apple pie, put it in my pancakes, I even use it in mashed potatoes. But I've never seen how it's grown and produced, and I figure there's gotta be a pretty good reason why they call this the Spice Island of the Caribbean. Maristica fragrance, nutmeg, one of the most popular and familiar flavors in the world. And in my kitchen, I actually use it more than any other spice. So I've always wanted to see where it grows, how it grows, how it's harvested and processed. I've definitely come to the right place. I've been in the nutmeg business since a boy. Llewellyn Duncan is a spice farmer, which on Grenada means he basically just has to walk out his back door with an empty bag. This is the nutmeg tree. Look right there, you'll see one of the nutmeg that oh, is open. Oh, that, right there, okay. We have three in a cluster. It's natural right now. That's the first <laughs> nutmeg tree I've ever seen. Okay. You're used to this. This is yes, new for every me. Every day, every day. I bet you don't have an apple tree, though. No, I don't. Well, that's what I have at home. <laughs> we have the best nutmeg in the world. Grenada has the best nutmeg in the world. That's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Here. All right. Yeah, 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 look at that. This is the nutmeg and you can see itself just open. This is the mace. The red part of it is called the mace, and the black part is called the nutmeg. Oh, is that ever beautiful? I'm mesmerized. It's not called nutmeg for no reason. It's a nut, actually. It, yes, it is a nut. It grows inside a fruit. We use that to, for making jams and jellies. Here on the island? Yes, we have it. Hui. It's That's it's bitter. Good. Yeah, get that, get that. It but tastes. it tastes like nutmeg. Yes. <laughs> it absolutely <laughs> tastes like nutmeg. The leaves taste like nutmeg also. The leaves. the leaves too. Yes, it is nutmeg in its totality. It totally tastes like <laughs> nutmeg. Yes. Nutmeg is also a seed. Wherever it falls, a new tree will sprout. In seven or eight years, it starts to bear fruit. In 20 years, it reaches full production that continues for up to 60 years. Mace is the outer coating of a nutmeg. It has an almost plastic-like feeling to it. It's almost sticky. It doesn't feel like something that grows, really. Yes. Is it raining? Well, it it's, is, it's, it's, it's not really raining. We're just having liquid sunshine. There you are. Oh, look at that, fresh nutmeg. Fresh nutmeg. I totally recognize that pattern. I mean, I, I normally grate my own... Nutmeg. Well, what I've always called fresh nutmeg at home. Okay. Now I realize it's not Dry fresh nutmeg. at all. Dried nutmeg. Dried <laughs> nutmeg. It's like finding a little treasure. You, you, you pick one of these fruits off, then you've got mace on the outside, which is so beautiful. You peel that away. Then you've got a shell yeah. that you peel away, and finally, at last, Can't you get it. to this amazing nutmeg in the middle. It, it, it's like one of those Russian dolls, you know, yeah. that you sort of pull layer by layer. Okay. Where do you take your nutmeg and mace? Where does this go next? We take them to Guad Processing Station. I just added that to my list. Yes. I want to check that out, too. <laughs> yes. I'm here in Grenada for the nutmeg, but it's easy to get sidetracked when you're a traveling chef. You never know what you're going to find. Wow, look at that. I had no idea there was so much juice in these things. Well, let's try a glass. Would you like to try it with some lime? Yeah, with some lime, sure. You don't want to get the seeds in? Oh, I don't mind a little seed. <laughs> mm, oh, it's good with lime. Yeah. It's really good. I can totally see why people would get into this. There's a nice herbaceous quality to it, sort of a musty flavor. It's quite nice. Nature Man Cane Juice. Nature Man, I'm Michael. Good to meet you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Some people, when they travel around the world, they go looking for architecture or museums or big mountains to climb. Me, I go looking for nutmeg, all things nutmeg.
There are a lot of great reasons to come to Grenada. White sandy beaches, tropical heat, sea breezes, friendly people, and Caribbean flavors. I'm here for my favorite spice, though, because this tiny island is one of the top two nutmeg producers in the world. Gentlemen, my name is Michael. I'm a chef from Canada. I'm wondering if I could have a look around with you, perhaps uh, see what you're doing with the nutmeg here. Sure, Canada. Thomas? Thomas, I'm Michael. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I really am a big fan of nutmeg. This is the Guave Nutmeg Processing Center. This is where Grenada's nutmeg comes for drying, warehousing, and shipping. This is Mecca for a nutmeg fanatic like me. How many pounds of nutmeg a year would you put through here? 6.3 million pounds of nutmeg annually. Wow. In this wow. area, we're taking care of the mace. The nuts. outer coating. The mace is mainly used in cooking, like in soup and fishes and stew, mashed potato, pumpkin pie. The nutmeg more used in pastries, uh, make more bacon and so on. So yeah. you would save the nutmeg That's right. for the best uses. Yeah, but well, here is where we do the drying of the nutmegs. That is a lot of nutmeg. It's not even a drop in the ocean in compare, comparison to our production prior to Ivan. In 2005, Hurricane Ivan devastated the Grenadian nutmeg industry. The storm knocked down some 90% of the island's spice trees. Today, the industry is still recovering. So it must be dried to extract the moisture. So it intensifies it the flavor. It intensifies the flavor. Where, where would a bag like that go? Holland and Germany are two largest import of nutmegs. Final result. This right is the final result. After okay. cracking, this is the final result. Nutmeg out of the shell. But how do you know when it's the highest quality possible? How can the highest quality of nutmeg is determined by the oil density? And to identify this, we use water. Okay. This is a good one. If it sinks, if it, it sinks, sinks good. But oh, okay, there it goes. So if it floats, it doesn't have very much oil. Very in much. It? That's right. This is a small demonstration. At the far end, we have a vat with water where we identify the quality. While the larger ones are not at the top of the screen. So the small ones just fall through, fall through. and you're left with the best That's of Grenada nutmeg. Right. There it yeah. is, right there. That's just right here. Can I take some of this? Sure, you can. Thank you. So appreciative of you being here with us. Now that's what I call a souvenir. Thank you. But I'm cooking a Grenada spice. Thank you. you must have Thank you. I can't wait to use this at home. I feel like I'm on a, on a bit of a pilgrimage here coming to this building, and there's so many different things that are fascinating to me here, but one of the things that's the most interesting is I look at all this nutmeg and, and think about the fact that all of Grenada's nutmeg is processed in this building right here. It occurs to me that I've been seasoning my food with nutmeg from this very spot for my entire cooking career. But what about all that tasty nutmeg fruit? The seed pod, what botanists call the pericard. Where does it end up? At the De La Grenade Jam and Jelly Factory. Hi, welcome, Michael. We ex expect you. you, yes, yes. I am an absolute fanatic about nutmeg. It's my all-time favorite spice. Oh, really? So to see it today like this was just a real treat for me, the mace and the fruit. Now, this is quite a bit like an apple although it's not edible because it's very acidic. Mm -hmm. The natural pH is about 2.8, mm. but it has low loads of pectin, which also help in the manufacture of the jellies and jams. Okay, so they so want the pectin it, would the, thicken it. to make it gel. Nutmeg pericarbs. Thank you. And there's still lots of flavor left in them after That's, they boil? Yes. There's that much flavor yes, in them? Yes, there's still flavor in it. Can I, can I try a little bit of that right there? <laughs> Good morning, you. It's very acid. I look, mm, gosh, it's good. It's yes, good. it's acidic, but I'm past that. Nutmeg is a very special spice, and you have every part of it, even the bark of the tree, the leaves, they have the nutmeg uh, oils in them. Sure. The pericarps are simmered in water to extract their nutmeg flavor and thickening pectin. To make jelly, sugar is then added. For jam, the ground pericarp pulp is also added. We also add the pulp. Can we try some? Sure. Oh, nice and thick. Look at that. Unbelievable. It's like a beautiful apple jam, but it tastes like nutmeg. My mother, she said, well, why not? Nutmeg has a fruit. Can this fruit be used 
and included to make a jam. Because in the past, the pericops would just stay in the field and rot on the ground. But now we use them, so farmers can sell not only the nutmegs and mace, but also the pericop. Thank you. Thank you for showing me this. Yes, Thank you for letting me taste it. Nutmeg trees, nutmeg processing, nutmeg jam and jelly, all very interesting. But what about the local cooks? What do they do with nutmeg? What's it like having all this flavor in your backyard? I'm just scratching the surface here. Grenada is known as the Spice Island of the Caribbean. Nutmeg is such an important part of life here that it's actually on the national flag. And it's used in a lot more than just desserts. I'm on my way to meet our local Grenadian chef. Mrs. Checkley tells me she's been cooking with nutmeg her whole life. Hi there. Good morning, welcome. Thank you, Bernadette. Michael Smith. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Boy, does it smell good here. Nutmeg chicken. Nutmeg chicken. Perfect. I'm in the right place, aren't I? Chicken drumsticks, mm -hmm. all marinated in fresh grated nutmeg. And that's it. Just that's nutmeg. it. That's it. All right. Well, let's get cooking. Okay. A little bit of vegetable oil in the pot, mm -hmm. but a tablespoon of brown sugar, and allow it to caramelize. Then you add the chicken. I'm, I'm getting my head around this. I've never started a recipe this way, to, to add oil and then sugar and caramelize it. It browns the meat. Okay, so we add some water. Bernadette Sheckley is one of Grenada's best known chefs. Her island cooking is legendary for its bright tropical flavors and her love of local spices. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, when you put this in nutmeg, Buy it like this. Once you crack it and you leave it open, that fragrance disappears. As with any spice, as soon as nutmeg is ground, it begins to lose its flavor. So it's always best to grate it as you need it. Mm. Oh, is that ever good? Wow, it's good. It is good. Yeah. I know what I'm having for lunch. What? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, Bernadette cooks the entire menu for a local cafe out of her home kitchen, then delivers it just in time for lunch service. Today, I'm her prep cook and her driver. What are you going to have for lunch today? Nutmeg chicken, of course. Me too. Nutmeg chicken, beans and rice cooked with coconut milk, steamed vegetables with green bananas, and warm potato salad. Now that's a Grenadian lunch. How often do you get a chance to sit down and eat your own food? Oh. That is not very regular. I've made it through from cleaning, serving, mixing drinks, housekeeping. But after all, I decided uh, I love cooking. That's what I want to do, just cook. Bernadette, that is so tasty. Oh, well, thank you. It's the nutmeg. I really like that. I could get used to this. Beautiful view sitting on the harbor in St. George. more to Grenada than just nutmeg. So I'm heading up the west coast of the island right now for a little town called Guave, where they've got something called Fish Friday. Now, I'm not 100% sure what Fish Friday is, but it sounds like exactly the kind of thing for a traveling chef to check out. Well, it looks like everybody in town is setting up a stand. It turns out that Fish Friday started as a way to celebrate the fishermen and the fish that drive the local economy. In true Caribbean style, it's turned into a weekly street party with lots of food. We're looking for one of Bernadette's former apprentices. He runs one of the food stalls. Pumpkin. Bye. Pumpkin. 
<laughs> That's our Nick Lee. That's how we call it? Pumpkin? Yeah. Okay. There he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pumpkin. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Hey, I'm Michael. So what kind of fish would that be? This is mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Oh, it's one of my favorites. And this is called bigs? Yes. Yeah, so it's sort of a, a dough? A dough, know? yes. Sometimes it'll bake it, sometimes it'll fry it. You could also add coconut to it. Yes. Really? We yeah. add a little. Let's make it a little sweet? Yeah, we add, add a coconut. Little, little, little. See, this is the thing. When I come to something like this, I can't resist. I got to try everything. Everything. <laughs> you know? I mean, you're only going to be here once. You want to try it all. I think he was paying attention when you were teaching him. So what are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll do something very special. Which is, the name of it is oil down. Oil down? Oil oh, down? Yes. That's our national dish. Cooked on wood fire. Okay, now we're talking. Can I be your sous chef? Sure. Grenada is very proud of its reputation as the Spice Island of the Caribbean. On this island, spices are everywhere. I got one with cinnamon, the nutmeg, the ginger. You can get a special price. I never try to overpower with no one, my friend. Cloves, that's the cocoa bean. Yeah, yeah. Turmeric, bay leaf, ginger, nutmeg, mace, cinnamon. Yeah. That's it, huh? Yeah, and you got the spices of Grenada. All the local spices of Grenada. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. Enjoy Grenada. Hope to see you next year. But there's a lot more to Grenadian cooking than just spices. Local chef Bernadette Sheckley is taking me shopping so we can make the national dish together. A sort of local stew called oil down. What exactly are we looking for today? What Bread do we need? Breadfruit. That's breadfruit, okay. I've heard all about this. It has a sweetish flavor. I see. So, so there's where the fruit come in. Would this be right there? No, no, no. This is green, ready to, to boil. Get coconut. Now, how do you know a good coconut when you see one? Shake it. Oh, you can hear the water, water yeah. yeah. This is the kalalu. It cannot be eaten raw. It can't be eaten raw? No. How come? It will blister your mouth. It has something in it that will cause your mouth to itch you. Real, like toxins or something? Yeah, so you must cook it first. Anybody in the market outside here sells pigtail? Put that by the green door? Yeah. Pigtail. Yeah. Okay. Pigtail. Pigtail. Salted pigtail. The tail of the pig. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Pigtail, is it for the, for the oil then? Yeah, pigtail, it gives the oil an extra flavor. Ah. I was so focused on nutmeg when I got here, I sort of forgot about all the other great foods that are here in Grenada. So this is kind of a treat for me. So it's sort of like an extra little discovery. What I do know about breadfruit, breadfruit was brought into the Caribbean to feed slaves. Really? Yes. So where did your love of cooking come from? Because I like to eat. <laughs> that's, that's the same answer I always give. What is oil down, basically? Well, the basic stuff is breadfruit, pigtail, dumpling, simmered in fresh coconut milk with turmeric. You sort of have to admire the Caribbean cooks who figured out that it, you know, it takes heat yeah. to get rid of the toxins in the kalaloo. The pot is first filled with layers of kalaloo, pigtail simmered in water, and breadfruit, all seasoned with local turmeric. Next, a layer of simple dumplings made with flour and water. And last, the ingredient that ultimately gives the dish its name. It's getting fresh, it's full of water. Come on now. Jeez. <laughs> Don't you worry, I'll get it. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Look at that. It's not open yet, but I want to drink some of this water, though. It's good. Mm. Oh, that's the best part. Ah, this is the toughest part about being a traveling cook. Patience. Another 45 minutes or so before we're ready to go, before I get to dig into my first oil down. 
The coconut milk boils so vigorously that the breadfruit doesn't have a chance to get mushy. Eventually, all the liquid evaporates, leaving behind just the rich coconut oil, hence the name Oil Down.